Well, good afternoon, good afternoon, and good afternoon. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball. We are going to get into our study today. So I want you to, first of all, please get your Bibles out. I don't want to try to do this without our Bibles. So if you do have your Bibles, I want you to uh, follow along. Please like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm going to continue with our study of the books that they have removed from the scripture and somehow convinced you to believing that these scriptures are not part of the scripture. Now, when we understand that there has been some games when it comes to this, how do we know so? If you go over to the book of Joshua or you look at 2 Samuel, then you will find that they're mentioning a book by the name of Jasher that is nowhere in the scripture. So when you tell me that there's not been any scams when it comes to the scripture, then you've got to explain to me somewhere where the most high okay for scriptures to be removed. That is the problem. We cannot find anywhere where the Most High said, take out this, omit that, leave this in, or take that out. And so what we find is we find a lot of times people are going to church hearing the same regurgitated scam because nobody wants to go deeper and understand that there's more to this thing than what you were taught. Now, I know this may offend you. I really don't give a damn. I don't care who it offends. We must take a look at this and ask ourselves, why was this left in the scripture? Why was it left in the scripture? Is this not written in the book of Jasher? Why was it left in the scripture? This is written in the book of Jasher. But yet we skate past these things like they don't exist. And I have a problem with that. I, it's just like if you were a teacher and you're trying to teach a subject, but you have a piece of the information to teach the subject. How can you effectively teach the subject? Somebody has to understand that that is where the scam begins, because how can you give me something but give me a piece of it and tell me that this is the reality because your mommy and your daddy said so? Well, guess what? Your mommy and your daddy will not be able to save you. So I don't give a damn what your mommy and daddy said. What does the scripture say? So I'm going to share my screen here so we can pick back up with our reading from yesterday. Yesterday, I left you guys, I believe, with the prophet Ezra, and that is where we're going to pick up again today. The prophet Ezra wrote a total of four letters and you only have access to one letter, which is uh, the book of Ezra. And then you have the book of Nehemiah. Now, some of you don't understand that the book of Nehemiah is a letter, a book that was written by the prophet Ezra. So understand that the prophet Ezra wrote prophecies of things that are soon to come. So now let's continue. Fourth Ezra chapter number five. Verse one says, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number and the way of the truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith 
but iniquity shall be increased above that which now you see or that you have heard long ago. And the land that you see now to have root shall you see wasted suddenly. But if Yahoo will grant you to live, you shall see after the third trumpet chauffeur that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon thrice in the day. And blood shall drop out of wood and the stone shall give his voice and the people shall be troubled. And even if he shall rule, whom they look not, for that dwell upon the earth, and the fowls shall take their flight away together. And the sodomist sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. There shall be confusing also in many places, and the fire shall be offset out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. And salt waters shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and inconsistency be multiplied upon earth. One land also shall ask another and say, is righteousness that makes a man righteous going through you? And it shall say, no. At the time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. To show you such tokens, I have leave, and if you will pray again and weep as now and fast seven days, you shall hear greater things. Then I awoke in an extreme fearfulness, went through all of my body, and my mind was troubled, so that it fainted. So the angel that was to come talk with me, healed me, comforted me, and set me upon my feet. And in the second night, it came to pass that she out till the captain of the people came unto me saying, where have you been? And why is your countenance so heavy? Know you not that Israel is committed unto you in the land of their captivity? Up then, eat bread, forsake us not as the shepherd that leaves his flock in the hand of cruel wolves. Then said I unto him, go your ways for me and come not nigh me. And he heard what I said and went from me. And so I fasted seven days, mourning and weeping, like as Uriel the angel commanded me. And after seven days, so it was that the thoughts of my heart were very grievous unto me again. And my soul recovered the Ruach and I, and I began to talk with Yahuwah again and said, O Yahuwah, of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof, you have chosen only one vine. And of all the lands of the whole world, you have chosen one pit and all of the flowers thereof, one lily and all of the depths of the sea. You have filled one river and all built cities. You have hollowed Zion unto yourself. And of all the fowls that are created, you have named one dove. And all the cattle that are made, you have provided one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, you have gotten one people. And unto this people whom you love, you gave one Torah that is approved of all. And now, O Yahuwah, why have you given this one people over unto many? And upon the one root have you prepared others? And why have you scattered your only one people among many? And they which did gainsay your promises and believe not your covenants have trodden them down. If you did this so much hate your people, yet should you punish them with your own hands. Now when I spoke these words, the angel that came to me the night before was sent unto me and said unto me, Hear me and I will instruct you. Hearken to the thing that I say and I shall tell you more. And I said, speak, O my Adonai, then said he unto me, you are so troubled in mind for Israel's sake. Love you that people better than he that made them? And I said, no, Adonai, but a very grief have I spoken, for my mind pains me every hour. 
while I labor to comprehend the way of Yahuwah and to seek out part of his judgment. And he said unto me, you cannot. And I said, wherefore, Adonai, whereunto was I born then? Or why was not my mother's womb in my grave that I might not have seen the travail of Jacob and the words and told of the stock of Israel? He said unto me, number me the things that are not yet come. Gather me together the dross that are scattered abroad. Make me the flowers green again that are withered. Open me the places that are closed and bring me forth the winds that in them are shut up. Show me the image of a voice and then I will declare to you the thing that your labor to know. And I said, oh, Yahuwah, who may know these things, but he that has not, that has not his dwelling with men. As for me, I am unwise. How may I then speak of these things? Wherefore you ask of me. Then said he unto me, like as you can do none of these things that I have spoken of even, so you cannot find out my judgment or in the end the love that I have promised unto my people. And I said, Behold, O Yahuwah, yet are you nigh unto them that be reserved till the end, and what shall they do that have been before me? Or we that be now, or they that shall come after us. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring, like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. I don't care who told you what, everybody will experience judgment. I don't care what scam is preaching you that you won't have to stay in judgment. I've got news for you. You are being bamboozled. The scripture says everybody will stand judgment. So I answered and said, could you not make those that have been made and be now and that are for to come at once that you might show your judgment the sooner? Then he answered, he meets and said, the creature, creature may not haste above the maker, neither may the world hold them at once that shall be created therein. And I said, as you have said unto your servant, that you which give life to all have given life at once to the creature that you have created and the creature for it, even so it might now also bear them that now be present at once. And he said unto me, ask the womb of a woman and say unto her, if you bring forth children, why do you it not together, but one after another? Pray her therefore to bring forth 10 children at once. And I said, she cannot, but must do it by distance of time. Then said he unto me, even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their times. For like as a young child may not bring forth the things that belong to the age, even so have I disposed the world which I have created. And I asked and said, seeing you have now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before you for our mother of whom you have told me that she is young, draws now unto age. He answered me and said, ask a woman that bears children and she shall tell you. Say unto her, wherefore are unto they whom you have, have now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? She shall answer you, they that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age, when the womb fails, are otherwise. Consider this, therefore, how that you are less of a stature than those that were before you. And so are they that come after you less than you, as the creatures which now begin to be old and have passed over the strength of youth. Then I said, Ed, and I beseech you, if I have found favor in your sight, show your servant by whom you visit your creature. That we will ask the most high to add a blessing to the reading of his word. Like I said before, don't get bamboozled into believing what somebody told you. Open up the scripture. Get with the most high one-on-one. -on -one and ask him to discern the scriptures for you. If you base your whole walk with the Most High on somebody else's thoughts, you will be mistakenly, sadly, bamboozled into worshiping another. I am the minister, M.L. Kimball, and it was my absolute pleasure to come to you today with our study for today. 
please don't forget to like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, be blessed on purpose. Thank you.